Now that I've had a little time to recover from Inktober, I thought I'd share a sketchbook tour of all 31 drawings from Inktober of 2018. But before I get into that, I just wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You can start your own website with Squarespace in less time than it took me to draw a single one of these drawings. So if you're in need of a website, check out our link below. So the first drawing holds a special place in my heart because October 1st is not only the first day of Inktober, but it's also my birthday. Lou and I spent the whole morning celebrating my 28th in our van OD, making pancakes, and then spent the afternoon exploring Portugal's beautiful coastline. I was a little nervous for the actual drawing because I'm still learning to draw at the moment, and perspectives like this are challenging, especially using only ink per the Inktober tradition. But looking back, I'm proud, both of the drawings and that this was the day I committed to a daily drawing challenge for the month of October. If you want to see more behind the scenes for this drawing, we have an entire Inktober playlist with videos from every other day of October. So this drawing is the view we wake up to every morning in our van. Though usually the sink is full of dishes and it looks like a hurricane blew through. Nonetheless, the kitchen is my favorite part of our entire van build. From the beautiful tiles Lou laid by hand, or the custom cabinets, or the curtains I stitched. There are so many memories built into these walls, and every time I stand there cooking or cleaning, I try to remind myself of the months of effort we dedicated to make this dream a reality. Looking back at these illustrations now, I can't believe what a wonderful tool drawing is to solidify memories. It's like each one of these are a little time capsule that teleports me back to the exact moment I was drawing. In this one, I remember so specifically the nervousness I had trying to draw the stairs because there was a tree blocking my view and it was one of the first times I took artistic license to modify the scene in front of me instead of drawing exactly what I could see. I remember feeling my confidence grow as I explored a slimmer tipped pen to capture the ivy growing on the walls and my delight to be able to render the scene in less than an hour compared to some of the first drawings in the challenge that took almost three. This sketch is probably one of the most precious ones to me. When Lou and I first arrived at this empty parking lot on top of a mountain, this beautiful, huge dog came over to say hello. She had a collar on, so we assumed she lived nearby, but for the rest of the afternoon, she felt like a part of our family. A total cuddle monster and adorably curious, I couldn't help but spend the next few hours sitting outside and sketching her. There was something so profound about drawing a living creature, unlike all the urban sketching I did the rest of the month, and it's definitely something I want to return to in the new year. Just where it was needed never forget sitting on top of the castle walls, looking down at the town below, writing the voiceover for the Day 13 video with Lou. We would take breaks from writing to reminisce about our time in Cusco, over three years earlier, where our whole adventure started as content creators. We talked about how we dreamt of coming to this town when we still were knee-deep in the van build, and used hypothetical future adventures as motivation to keep going even when we were exhausted. It was like we were sitting there, looking at everything we had hoped would happen, and now it was all around us. Every day of Inktober pushed me further out of my comfort zone. Whether it was drawing a new perspective or a new type of tree I'd never drawn before, but the rolling hills of Duro Valley took it to another level. I remember sitting out on this strange vantage point on the edge of the river, looking off into a faraway sea of weaving grapevines, trying to figure out a way to simplify all the lines. 
I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out, especially because just a few days later, I ended up drawing a close-up of the grapevine as we explored the vineyards nearby. Drawing the same thing from different perspectives could be a really interesting concept for me to explore in the future. I cherish the days that we take time to move slow first thing in the morning. It might not happen often with the schedule we've created for ourselves, but on this day, it all fell into place. We woke up and meditated. I put water on to boil and set out some lemons. And looking at our beautiful kitchen, I realized that this was the perfect scene to capture as the day's illustration. Drawing this still life let me linger in the moment even longer and appreciate the life that we had built ourselves. The only way I can describe this one is that adventurous days like this remind me of why we built Odie in the first place. Arriving early in the morning, barely prepared for the thousands of stairs we'd soon be hiking, getting caught in a rainstorm, drawing while watching a beautiful sunset with literal rainbows in the sky, and then finishing the hike after dark only to get to enjoy the peace and quiet of an empty parking lot on top of a mountain. Lou and I always joke that the best thing we can do in the van is keep moving, because it reminds us of how incredible Odie really is. He might not be a comfortable apartment, there's no laundry, no hot showers, we might even run out of water. But he is down for adventures and makes our life richer than we ever could have imagined. This beach became our home much longer than we expected. We lived here for over a week, walking on this boardwalk, enjoying the free showers by the beach in the cold air, locking up the van and easing our way into the quiet city of Porto. People always ask us where we sleep when we visit cities, and I have to say, taking the time to find a secluded spot with easy public transportation is always worth it. Though I'm not sure if we'll ever find something as wonderful as this cozy little spot in Miramar. This sketchbook tour is getting a little long, so I think I'll just end it here with this last drawing. This past October was one of the most transformative for Lou and I in the van. We worked so hard to create all the Sinktober content, from the videos to the drawings, and ultimately to creating our first scene. It has been a really crazy time for us, but I'm also so happy that we could share this adventure with you. And one of the reasons that all of this is possible is because of the generous support of Squarespace. I recently built our e-commerce site using Squarespace and was so relieved with how easy it was to get our zine up onto the web. The intuitive drag and drop design makes creating a professional website possible in minutes, even for someone like me with absolutely zero experience. So go to squarespace.com slash wildweroam to get started and use the wildweroam offer code to get 10% off your first purchase. And one last thing. A big thank you to everyone that supported us buying a zine. We've sold over 150 this week and will now be shutting down the store as we head out west for a new adventure. Maybe we'll open it again in the new year. <laughs>